What's going on guys, it's Sam Light. Welcome to my channel once again. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this coming in the new future. Thank you all for stopping in today. And today what I have for you guys is a crazy story and somewhat awkward experience with one of my friend's parents. So I'm going to just jump right into it. So I play hockey as some of you may know. And I was playing for a summer team and I was close friends with the coach's son. So it was a Friday night and I was planning on staying over at his house with me and one of my other friends. I'm just going to give him a name, Jimmy. Um, so me and Jimmy were going to stay at this kid's house and his dad was the coach. We had a game the next morning and it was an early game, which was Saturday. So typically he expected us to go to sleep early and get ready for the game the following day. That was totally wrong. We decided to stay up until around 1230 and we knew for a fact his parents were sleeping. We all had so much energy and we wanted to do something so me and Jimmy asked the kid whose house we were staying at if he could invite some girls over. And just to give you some insight, this kid was not allowed to hang out with any girls. His parents were so strict on him and hated when he hung out with girls. So after like five minutes of convincing this kid, um, we had girls coming over. And we were all getting ready for them to come over and we had a plan of how we would get them inside without his parents waking up and everything. Fast forward about 10 minutes and they're at our house, or at his house, and they, uh, they're they in the basement with us. Now we assume that his parents were long asleep and like we had nothing to worry about. At this point, it was about 1 o'clock and we were all just hanging out and having a good, good time. This kid's basement was huge with lots of rooms. We each had our own room with one girl and the kid whose house we were at would come out like of his room occasionally to check upstairs and make sure nothing was going on. So after about 45 minutes of us all being separated, we all came into the main room and started watching TV together. Now this is where things start to go bad. I had the genius idea of going live on Instagram, and I forgot that the kid's dad had Instagram, which was my coach. And the way the camera I had set it up, it showed all of us clearly in his basement with the three girls with us. And you guessed it, his dad joined and I quickly ended it, then here come the footsteps upstairs. So the kid whose house we were staying at was going to go upstairs and try to distract his dad while me and Jimmy figured out a way to get these girls out of here. So his basement was set up where there was a pipe room in the back that faces his hockey net that's outside. So me and Jimmy thought it would be a good idea to just break it and just say we broke it shooting pucks earlier in the day and we could just sneak the girls out that way. So we went on doing that and just as the last girl was about out the window, like her leg her like one leg was just dragging to get up and we were like pushing her up as she was getting out or his dad came in so his dad came in turned the lights on and saw the girl's leg and like he he just didn't say anything so um so my heart literally sank and then um luckily the girls booked it and made it out of there not having to deal with the kid's dad so then uh there here comes the shame me and jimmy turned around and we see our friend standing behind his dad and, um, dude, the kid looked like he was shitting himself. It was so bad. Um, and then he, like, we were just staring at each other for, like, a good minute. And then all he said was, we will talk about this tomorrow after the game. Go to sleep, dumbasses. And, like, that was such a shock to me because I was not expecting that from him at all. I was expecting to get, like, beaten, like, my shit beat or some shit. But... Yeah, that's, he was super chill about it, and the following day, he didn't say a word to any of us, so I don't know if he was on some shit that made him forget that night or something. No, I'm just kidding, but um, I was really scared because it was 100% my fault that we did end up getting caught, but that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss a future upload. Also, please leave feedback down in the comments uh, of what you guys want to see for my next video. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.